I chose you. <laughs> right, today I'm going to <laughs> um, do a, uh, hopefully do some warbling paper. So I've got this wet already. Uh, yes, that, so we don't need that one. Um, although if you do use that on marbling, you can use actually utilise the little drips of water to make white spots on your paper. Right, I'm going to hopefully make some different type of white spots. I'm going to use some coffee and some um, vegetable oil like I did last time and I made a made a brilliant job but I didn't do it on video. I was going to do it outside but guess what? Da, da, da. It's windy. I wouldn't mind if it wasn't, I wouldn't mind it because it's not raining but it's windy. So I'm doing it inside and uh, I've got some I don't, I've got I've got pitching roll which is going to be important because I can't really hang them out straight away. Anyway, if you do hang them out straight away, sometimes they go a bit streaky. So I've got a load of marbling paints. What I'm using mainly is obviously the brown one because um, they um, it's better in a way, right? Um, because it looks a bit like coffee now, and obviously we like coffee day, don't we? I've got some coffee. And I've got some, um, I've got these these ones, these are the ones I was talking about before, in, in, um, these are, I think these are quite, they're very good, they're different, they make, they make lots of spots on your paper, because they seem to be very greasy, but we haven't got a brown in this, that's that one, that one's a black one I think, oh dear, I've had them outside, I left them outside because I thought I was going to use them again, but I think they've gone a bit funny, oh well, we're not going to use them today I don't think. Anyway, well, I have got some, yeah, I made some really nice um, spots with vegetable oil. Right, so I'm going to just norm, do some normal one. You don't, I don't, I've got marbling bath, which you can use. You can put that in for half an hour. I'm just going to close the door. <laughs> Door's closed. <laughs> Right, so hopefully you can see my, yes, you can see that, can't you? That's got some cold water in it. Right, as I was saying, you, I have got this marbling bath. Um, oh, look, I'm splashing that with water, so we'll see what happens. I'll show you what happens. You can actually splash it with water and it will resist it. Anyway, I've got some marbling bath, but I haven't got it in. You can, it takes about one and a half hours to, or two hours or something to settle, and it does make good effects. Bit like the shaving foam really but better <laughs> but it's much more easier to use than shaving foam yeah, brown and white i've got some more white upstairs actually so i'm using brown and white the white will make help make the patterns so what i'm going to do so just drip some drip some uh, this is pbo marbling inks i got it from um a discount art shop got my spoon Found this wooden spoon and I thought well that would be useful for my marbling so what I'm doing is swishing it round and down 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 <laughs> I'm gonna put some um, ready to take it because I can't hang them out straight away as I said normally I hang them on the line but I'm gonna put them into tissue which I've done for not tissue a uh, kitchen roll right so now I've got splat I've got splashes on there let's see what happens I might not die. Sometimes when I'm using both sides of paper, you can actually dye both sides. That made, that's made a lovely light swirly pattern. Can you see? Yes, you can see that, can't you? And where it's um, where the water's been on it, it will resist, and you've got you'd have white dots there. But we don't really want the white dots. That's just to show you. Right. Again, you have to every time you put do a dye, you have to put some more. And that's not very strong. Normally, it's a lot stronger than that. a little bit more in I'm going to put some white in as well and I'm going to, in a minute I'm going to put some coffee in as well plus some um, oh, vegetable that's what I did before and I poured the coffee down the paper there's my wooden spoon I'm still doing my accent so right, let's put some I forgot to put some uh, kitchen roll ready yeah you have to put a layer of kitchen roll every paper otherwise it will all stick together 
it's made a really light, nice light colour. This one should be darker. Yeah, that's a lot darker. Look, a lot darker. And it does streak, so lay it down straight away. And put a thing on top to get, the, get rid of the water. Um, I think, yes, I'm sure before I left it like that. And it just peeled away. Right, so you need at least two sheets of... It does leave a pattern of the um, kitchen roll as well, which is probably quite interesting sometimes. Yep, it does. Right then, let's have a look. Let's put a bit of... Now, the reason I used this before is because uh, I'm pouring a bit of uh, vegetable oil into the coffee. Not much. See what happens. So now we've got a vegetable. We're almost making a cake, aren't we? We need a bit of flour and eggs. And <laughs> right, so I've had some nose coffee, so I'm going to put that in. Uh, I think what I did before was um, I added some uh, marbling inks as well. But that's put some, that's put the catamounts pigeons there, and uh, we've got some uh, vegetable oil to make it spotty, make it properly, and mix it. Well, I don't know how it will do on this one, but the other one looked really nice, really liked it. That's why I'm doing it again, and that's why I decided to go for video. <laughs> I'll do it on the back, because that's got a, well, you can see, can you see all the dots? That's where the vegetable, that's what normally happens with these. You get all the dots. Now that's, that'll be white dots. Right. Oh yes, you can see the coffee. The coffee's this. That's the marble inks. That's the coffee. Here we are. That looks good. So I'm trying not to let it streak because it's streaking already. I'll just try and dry that off. I might have a go at drying it off quickly and then showing you when it's been dried off. Dried off. So this is one of my little experiments. <laughs> right, so I'm going to take that off straight away. And you'll see the sort of thing it does. That looks good. I like that because it's got those, um, these will be white spots if you... I don't, what I normally do is actually photo, uh, scan it and um, work it like that so uh, as I say you have to put some more dye I'm going to pour some coffee down like I did before that was really good that worked well <laughs> right so um, yeah putting some more I could actually try it without right what I'm going to do then is try it without just to see because it's got all that vegetable oil in the I think the reason why I tried the vegetable oil is once I was trying to get a certain effect with these and well I think I need some new ones that's actually running out still getting I'm only doing one side because normally I do two sides but I'm going to scan these anyway you can actually dye it very successfully both sides when you're doing this. Lots and lots and lots of little dots on this one. And let's see what it looks like. Is it going to be? I like that. Yeah, I like that. I'll leave that as it is. And we're going to try one with coffee on it. Perhaps without putting the um, marbling ink in. So, 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 right. So, there's plenty of still plenty of uh, vegetable oil in there. This time, I'm going to just put it in, lift it out, and then pour coffee on it. See what it looks like first. Then lift it out. I don't like the effect of that so much. I'll put coffee on all oh, these little dark spots like tadpoles. <laughs> tadpoles are in my pool, right? So, what I did was. Yeah, so that's really light. That's like an orangey colour. So what I did was poured coffee down the paper. Whoops! <laughs> oh no, it's gone. It's gone in the other paper. 
it's gone on the other paper so I just pe 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 poured it on like that and I'm not going to bother but I'm going to see what happens with the how can you get this nice that's really really thick coffee that is my husband's coffee don't tell him you don't watch these videos he won't know will he it is mellow but <laughs> doesn't hardly ever have coffee has tea Anyway, there was a nice tip on the um, at Facebook page I want, paper art post. This is the Hello Birds. Haha. <laughs> right, there was a, a lovely tip where this lady says that she put, um, every time she has a cup of tea, she puts um, the tea bag on the paper that she wants to use in her work. I think that's a brilliant idea. I'm saving tea bags, I'm drying them out in the airing cupboard. We've still got an airing cupboard. Um, so we're leaving the airing cupboard in because it's useful <laughs> so uh for now anyway until everything goes wrong right let's have a look i'll show you what this one looks like the last one we did looks like now i've put the um thingy on it now i've put the um kitchen roll on it you've got a little bit of kitchen roll pattern there as well which works and I'm going to have a look at the other one where we spilt coffee all over just now I don't know if you can see that um but I just in when I when I was pouring it on I just spilt coffee all over it oh it's just made it's just made an extra patch of coffee so <laughs> I don't think we're too worried about that it looks quite nice actually right, I'm just going to press that down onto the kitchen roll and right yeah that's that is really a beautiful effect I love that effect you don't need obviously a tiny little bit of vegetable oil and it was the um it was this one we've had it ages it's been in the pan back of the pantry right there we go right um what else can i show you shall we try again now we've got coffee and i'll put some um of this in marbling brown marbling ink in i'm gonna have to get some more brown <laughs> I tell you what I used to like make banana toffee uh, colours like you've got um, brown and uh, yellow that's nice shall we add a bit of yellow I'm not really using the other ones because the other ones look like dried out <laughs> I can't decide which ones I like best I can't decide whether I like these ones best which is PBA marbling or these ones I don't know what they're called but they were like in a pack of eight or something they don't get brown with them but you can make brown brown is like um orange and green or brown and red depends what shade you want uh you can also put obviously you can also put yellow blue and orange or yellow blue and red i think that'd probably make a muddyish color anyway we're sitting on the thing so let's do a really gentle swirly thing in there we're going to get some yellow in this one Oh, I need a piece of, I'm just going to get a piece of this ready, so we don't ruin our other pit designs. Right, let's see how many minutes we are. So it's going to be a really short video, good. Right, and that's going to be a short video because, um, right, uh, so there we go. Let's try this one, we'll have yellow on it, hopefully. Yes, it has. So you can put yellow on it as well. You can mix the colours, definitely. But I would recommend using a um, pot. I'm going to probably show you in a minute what we've done because obviously I've dried a lot of them off on the uh, paper towels. Ooh. That one's really resisted. Loads and loads dots on there I don't know what it's going to look like when uh, I scan it whether that's going to be completely dry but it's all come round it's basically been resisted by this so that looks interesting right now I'm going to do an experiment I'm just put some of this at each end a minute I'll put a little bit in the middle but because I noticed it's not got much at each end so if you do leave it, it'll be really, really thick. So, 
unless you want that effect of course which would be fine and I might pour some more coffee down this and not get it all over that well I don't know perhaps getting it all over that last one might liven it up a bit I think it's a bit dull must be like a brown rose <laughs> brown rose that one at the top there I don't know if you can see, hopefully you can see that. I'm going to pour the rest of the coffee on. No, actually what I'm going to do... Yeah, I'll put some... Right then. So that's so let's just dry that one off, see what that one looks like. When we've dried it off. You don't dry it off, I mean it sort of like collects the water. You don't obviously dry it off just using towels. But... That's quite nice, isn't it? You've got, hopefully, I think it will dry more with the uh, white underneath there. Made some really nice effects. I don't know if you can appreciate it, but that looks like, a bit like to me at the moment, anyway, it might not dry like that, but that looks like gold. It, might not, it may not dry like that. We'll have to see anyway. Um, oh, I've got two little swirls. I don't know if you can see. I've got two little swirls going like that. In the coffee, I've got another uh, bath over there, but I didn't use that one. This is not the one I normally use. This is, uh, this is the one I normally use. <laughs> and it won't clean anymore. <laughs> it's one of those really useful boxes. Because they obviously um, um, won't leak. Right then, I'm going to put, just put some white in. Let's see if we'll get some subtle effects. Let's see what happens. I mean, I've got white paper. You can actually use coloured paper, obviously, if you're using white, and it will show up. Especially if you're using, especially if you're using this marble in bath. Obviously, I'm not using that. Right, and I'm going to put some more kitchen roll down. Using low, you use loads and loads of kitchen roll. I've got it all over the in case there's any leaks because I know there's I don't want it to go behind the um, thing. Right, so we'll get put that there. Uh, yeah, so I put it in your cover. Right, let's see what happens when I put it in the it's probably not going to be anything. It's going to be really subtle. Or we're just going to, oh that's okay really really subtle that is can I leave that one as it is because yeah, these just make interesting papers you don't have to use um, sunflower oil at all but I just wanted the effects of, well, I love the effect I've got on some of my papers and I've only got I've got two that I use right then um, I don't know whether to use the other one I'll just do some brown no completely clean and um, just do some brown and white effects actually I'm going to just what I'm going to do is put some coffee on oh I've got no coffee left oh I haven't got any coffee left so I can just make a little bit put a little bit more in I've got some hot water in the tap right so I'm just putting the tiny bit of coffee in this one there's one coffee I have Kenko <laughs> he doesn't he didn't even drink it so so right I've got a little bit of warm water in there so if you drank that coffee it'd be really sort of I've got wet I've put my wet hands on there as well so that might have felt it hasn't right so that's the sort of thing you get Again, I've showed you that before, haven't I? But I'm going to put a bit of this on. Just to get that. And then I'm going to... So I've got two-tone two effect coffee there. So now we've got the... A bit of the brown on there. It won't dry like that. That hasn't got any um, vegetable oil on it. But you've got some little dots of coffee there. That's creating a nose. So yes, it's made quite a nice effect. 
hope you can see it really nice on camera I'm going to dry these and um, I'm going to just pull the rest of that in there rinse it out see what happens if I put one more sheet in it's probably going to be the, either the best or worst effect now lump of coffee on <laughs> massive lump of credit and lump of coffee all right so i've got some lumps of coffee on there i'm going to mix them in a minute and then i'm going to put it back in looks disgusting <laughs> thought it's either going to be the worst or the best effect and that looks like it's got some um I haven't used it, uh, vegetable oil, but I haven't used it. Just going to try and get rid of that. Anyway, I only had another bit there. I'm going to try and join in the party all the bits, and I've got a hole in the paper now. But never mind. Hole in the paper. Right, I'm just going to put that over the top. That's going to be really, really, really subtle because I've only, I didn't put any more um, marbling ink in, did I? Right then, I'm just going to stop the video and then I'm going to come back and show you what I've got. Right then, we're not dry, but we're um, just showing you what I've got. Uh, that one, they got this is one we've got. They spilt coffee all over the paper and it went right through loads of paper. That's the second from bottom one. In fact, that's the bottom one. The very first one we did, <laughs> and it's got coffee on it. Anyway, it's very subtle that one. I think that's the first one we did, didn't we? Yeah. I don't know what's up with the, the inks unless it's because I've been outside for about two months. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm just going to put these back into the sleeves. So if I do jump around, it's because I'm editing it. That's one that got all the coffee on it. <laughs> it's brilliant. Yeah, that looks made quite a nice effect there. one's okay it's got quite a few bits of specks of something on there I don't know how it's going to dry I don't know what that that is actually so that's in, it might be something to do with the vegetable oil All right these two are my favorite this one loving this and the where well, it's got that massive patch of uh, coffee on it and that one as well that one I like that one with the yellow on it dead one because it's got all that resist I don't know how it's going to dry I'll have to see <laughs> I think it dries white or you can see it somehow because I've done it before and I can't remember how it reacted with the white Right, and this one, I like that one. And the last one, which is that one. That one's nice as well. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my video. Please like, share and subscribe if you've enjoyed my content. Uh, please, please, please give it a like. That's the most important thing to me. And please view it. You want to look at it again look at it again <laughs> thank you i do hope you've enjoyed it anyway thank you and goodbye